Hi there, this is Tim from Racing Central with a news roundup for the week. Obviously, you can see any of these news items fully at racingcentral.net. Starting off with Kart Racing Pro by Poboso, a frustratingly brilliant kart sim, which nicely got a couple of patches this week, restoring fixed setups, the best line, and stopping the dedicated server from crashing. Sabre released SnowRunner Season 11 that I mentioned last week, bringing a Scandinavian region to the driving game for the first time and a series of missions based around a film set. The ongoing saga of F123 patching continued this week when EA reverted the change from last week to the Barcelona pit entry because their fix caused similar issues on the start-finish line instead. Oh well, at least they tried. MX vs ATV Legends developer Rainbow Studios have announced that four classes of Gas Gas bikes will be coming to their game on October 31st. The Gas Gas MC125, 250, 250F and 450F bikes should be pretty popular. Studio 397 posted a few details of the already previewed Orica LMP2 car and this confirms that yes, those services do have textures on them. Milestone released a short track DLC pack that adds five bikes and one track. You can now race various Husqvarna, KTM and other bikes at the Blue Wave Arena track. Almost a week later they patched the game too, fixing the AI for the bikes that they had just released and tweaking helmet visuals. In a video posted by Gamer Muscle that was, re that was recorded at Sim Expo, KW Studios have announced new physics are coming to race room. The video is a bit short on details, and I expect KW to do one of their usually excellent previews to detail it soon, but it's excellent news to hear this sim is going to be getting some progress in this area. I know many people are looking forward to some kind of graphical improvement next. The Fanatec Club Sport DD Plus PlayStation license wheelbase I mentioned last week is now available for pre-ordering and will begin shipping in December. Plutonization have posted a trailer on Twitter showing off their Rev to Vertex Alpha version multiplayer that I also mentioned last week. It's early, obviously, but I'm hoping for big things with this sim at some point. Turn 10 released a patch for Forza Motorsport that fixed a stuck loading screen. They'll get to all the other bugs any day now. A new licensed Hes Hesketh Racing 301 themed cockpit was announced by Base Performance Simulators. Based on their Blade cockpit design, the specs are impressive, but I am disappointed that they won't just sell the frame and seat to help bring the price down from the £24,990 pounds it's currently listed for. EA released EA Sport WRC's system requirements. They seem reasonable enough to me, especially for a sim using Unreal for graphics. And the game can be run on a GTX 1060. The recommended GPU is an RTX 2070. That's a five-year-old video card. Preloading has also begun for those who pre-ordered. Moving over to the RSC website now, well, I have recoded a few sections of the site this week to improve loading time slightly, and now feature these weekly videos on the main page of the site. I'll be trying to get a review written and recorded this weekend, so be on the lookout for that. Moving on now, or moving backwards now, to this week in sim racing history. October 27th, 1997 saw the release of Soda Off-Road Racing. This groundbreaking title gave us an extra degree of physics and although not as well known as Grumpy Legends, probably should be. It was released under different names in different territories, so whether you played it as Gripped, DSF Off-Road or Spin Out Off-Road, just know that you played something special. That's all for this week. Please consider liking, subscribing, and all that other stuff. <laughs>